Hello, uh, good day. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, uh, share to you um, what could be the ways or other solution or could be alternate solution if you have a problem in having an online meeting with your group mates or with your team, uh, either in your work or in your business. But since you only knew uh, Zoom, right? Or if you want to do it aside from the messenger, of course, so you need like a, a software or uh, another platform for it, right? So um, since you only knew Zoom, and as you can see, uh, Zoom is only like, um, it's only more uh, 40 minutes, right? So after 40 minutes, it will be stopped, right? And it has only 100, a maximum of 100 participants. On it. So if you want to have more on that, of course, you need to pay already right? because that is the free version of Zoom. But if you want to have more on that, okay? So, um, so as you can see here, you need, you need to have, uh, you need to pay, right? So as you can see here for the Zoom Pro, you need to pay at least $150 per year to have a license, right? But it's good thing here in the Philippines, uh, we, have, um, we have people who are also selling uh, Zoom Pro uh, for you to have uh, like um, uh, um, a privilege to use Zoom for more than 40 minutes. And, and if you want to have more than 100, 100 participants, all right? So there are some people who are also selling that, right? So there is uh, as minimum as 180 pesos uh, per month, right? So uh, there is some people who are selling uh, that one, okay? But if you don't want to, if you don't want to spend, of course, we can use other uh, meeting platforms. So, uh, yes, we can use other meeting platforms aside from Zoom because we have a lot of Zoom meeting platforms that you can use too. So today I'm going to share to you what are the other uh, Zoom, uh, our, what are the other platforms that we can use in uh, having our, our online meeting. So one of that is Google Meet, right? I know it's very famous and it's very common already because uh, uh, our DepEd, and uh, most of our establishments, our school, our schools, our businesses are using Google Meet aside from the Zoom. Okay? Because in Google Meet, uh, you don't need to think about the time because it's uh, you can use it as long as you want to. And you can um, uh, 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 open a lot of participants, more than 100 is very okay as long as the participants have a Google account, right? Make sure that your participants have Google account. So to start, make sure you have also a Google account, of course. So when you type google.com, you can see here uh, three dots, right? Uh, I'm sorry, nine dots. So you can see here the Google products. So one of the Google products is, uh, is the Google Drive. Oh, I'm sorry, Google Drive, we have Gmail and we have Meet. So one of their products is Google Meet. So once you click it, so it will go directly to the Google Meet. But make sure that you have already an account because if you don't have an account, of course, you cannot do it, right? So if you don't have an account, you can sign up for free here. So it's very easy to sign up. You just uh, provide your name, your email address, and your password, and then that's good to go, right? And, that, and then you can change... Uh, language here so that's very easy so after uh, you're done you can sign in already after you sign up you can sign in already so i'm gonna use my account to sign in okay all right so this is my account all right after that one after i sign in of course uh, i put a verification a two-step verification so that um, i will know if someone is using my um, Gmail. So that's it. Uh, but since it's not appearing on my phone, um, okay, there. So it's appearing here on my phone. So uh, I, I cannot, you cannot see it, right? So 
after I click yes, I'm in, and this is me, of course, it will load already. So it needs to say that I'm the one who is using my account. So that's it, I'm already in. So after that one, you can already start having a meet. So uh, it's either you will enter a meeting or you are the one who will host a meeting. So if you are going to enter a meeting, of course, just enter the code or link here given and or provided to you, right? But if you're the one who will have the meeting, of course, you will create a meeting. So just go here, new meeting. So either you can create a meeting for later. It means to say that you will create a meeting now, but you will use it later. Okay, I'm going to click it so it will give a link and uh, you can use that for later. And for the next one, we have instant meeting. So you will have a meeting right now. So if you want to have it, so just click this one or schedule in Google Calendar. When could be your meeting? So that is how amazing it is, right? To have a meeting here in Google Meet. Now you can have options. So if, let's say I'm going to pick start an instant meeting. So today. So that's it. So I'm going to I'm going to create a meeting now. So you just allow allow me to use your microphone and your camera. Okay, and that's it. And there, that's the one. So uh, I'm sorry with that. So I can turn off my camera. So this is your turn off camera and we have this microphone here. So you can mute right there. So that's it. And you can copy this link and paste it and paste it to the all right to those uh, to your messenger if you want to have your meetings here so that they can go in here all right or you can click this add others and provide their gmail so that's it so you can put everything there so you have options also when you are inviting them right it's not just on links okay so um, also um, yeah, that's what I'm telling earlier. You can mute your, you can turn off your camera. This caption is, is um, uh, you can see text here below. Uh, what I am saying now, it will appear here below. Okay, so it's just like a subtitle. Okay, and then uh, this is where you share screen. Okay, so I'm gonna click it, and then you can you also have another option when you uh, share a screen. It could be your entire screen. A window, let's say I want, I just want to share my Google Chrome only. So it, it could be, or let's say I have two tabs here. Let's say I'm going, going to open YouTube or I'm going to open uh, Google. So let's say I'm going to open Google and I just want to share only Google, all right? Uh, okay, so you can use this one, a tab, and then it will, uh, they will ask you what tab you are going uh, to choose here, okay? Just like that. Okay, and um, that is for share screen. And this one is for more options. Uh, if you want to write something, let's say you're teaching um, something and uh, you want to write an illustration or you want to like, if you, want to, if you are teaching mathematics and you want to solve and show to your participants the solution step-by-step, step, so you can use this one. So that's it. And you just, you just click start a new whiteboard or choose from drive if you are saving a video already on your uh, on your uh, presentation that could be or if I'm if you're going to pick this one then it will create a job so let's wait for a moment there okay it will create another window okay and then okay so so that uh, the participants can see what you're doing here make sure that you will share it or yeah. Uh, yeah, you should share it so that they can see it, right? It's either you will put their emails here or you will copy the link and send it here on the Meet, okay? Or we, you can use this one, right? So you can use this and present it to the meeting, present tab to meeting. So once you click that, okay, click this one, share. Then after that, then, that's it. You can write everything here. I'm going to write here, hello. And it will appear here on the screen. See? So that is how amazing it is. That's why most of our schools use Google Meet. But you know, in Zoom, you can also do this in Zoom. But that's the problem. There's a time limit in Zoom. Unlike here, there's no time limit, 
All right, that's the difference. Okay, so if you're done, you can stop sharing this one and you can close it or you can save it. It's up to you. So you can set background here, right? So cool, right? Uh, okay, so you can clear the frame, all right? So that's cool. If, that's how cool it is. So if you're done here, you can close this one. Okay, that's for the whiteboard. Uh, let's go. Let's go with the other um, options here. So we have change layout. So let's say you are, you are a lot. You are you have uh, like twenty participants or more than twenty, like fifty participants. So of course it will not be fit here in one window. So there are there are, there are some participants that can't be seen. So you need to change layout. So it's either you will be used styled. All right, tile is you can see everyone, participants. Spotlight is if I'm the one talking and you are a participant, so uh, I'm the only one you can see on the screen, that's spotlight. Sidebar is uh, if there, there is a presentation, presentation or me uh, speaking, and this is the participants, right? So you can change the tiles. Uh, what do you want to use? So you can only apply this one if you chose tile layout, okay? So if you use auto, uh, it's okay. Uh, if you use spotlight and sidebar, it cannot be used for tile. So you can uh, choose how many tiles you want to appear. So right, so it can create a T49, right? So that's it. So you can uh, put as many as you can, right? So that's it. Now, uh, this time, um, okay. Uh, further, you can also full have full screens. Uh, switch camera, camera. You can only use this when you are using your mobile phones, right? But here on the laptop or on your PC, uh, it's not applicable because this is uh, used for like if your device has a front cam and uh, a rear cam. But if you're using a laptop or computer, you only have one cam, right? So it's not applicable. So apply visual effects. So just like with Zoom, there's a background, just like what you can see here in my background now. So that's it. So you can pick, uh, you can pick um, what you want here. Uh, you can pick what you want to have a background here. It could be this one, this one, right? So you, you can also add your own. So you can upload it. So click this one and you can choose what background you want to like that. Okay, that is for the background or for the um, uh, visual effects. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my cam. Okay, so that's it. Uh, captions, yes, that's what I'm telling you earlier. So that's it. So we have settings here. Okay, you can change your audio, what audio you are using, speakers, and you can test it. So if you can hear yourself, then that's good. Video is, yes, this one. So if you're going to use this one, so it's up to you what camera are you using. So I'm turning off my cam. So let's say I'm turning on my cam so that you can see. So let's see. Let's turn it on. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't turn it on because I'm using, I'm using another device. And I, I'm using another application. That's why it cannot be turned on. Okay. But that is where you can... Um, that is where you can choose the camera, okay? So that's it, uh, okay. So I'm gonna turn it back here, mini cam. Okay, um, you can set your resolution here and your, uh, okay, this one, oh, yeah, there's my camera. <laughs> okay, uh, we have general host controls. All right, for the host controls, you can only, um, if you check this one, it will let you restrict what participants can do in the meeting. I'm going to turn off my time yet here. Okay, going back. Okay, so for the host controls, you can, if you want, if you check this, then you are restricting your participants what they can do in the meeting. All right. So just like with uh, share the screen. So when the, uh, when you turn it off, they cannot share their screen. All right. So that's okay if you are the speaker, if you are the one who just need to share this, the screen. But if they need to share the screen, you need to check this one. And send chat messages when you turn this off, then you are the only one who can send chat messages. And the participants are just viewers because they cannot send chat. Unless you will check it, then you, they can message you in the chat, right? Wherein their chat is not the same with Zoom that they can specify uh, who they want to chat with. 
we're in, in the Zoom, right? You can have a private message to a participant. Here in Google Meet, no, you cannot do that. Uh, what you chat, everyone can see what you chat, what you message, right? So that is the disadvantage, one of the disadvantage of chat here in chat feature of Google Meet. But so far, it's still it's good. It's still okay, all right? So that's it. Uh, that is the feature that we can use here in the Google Meet. By the way, if you want to see the participants that you have, just click this one, show everyone. You can see all of the participants here. So uh, sad to say, we have only one feature that is only all muted. So you can mute all, but you cannot unmute them. That's the problem there, right? So you can mute them, but you cannot unmute them. So you can add people and of course, host control that is what I told you earlier. Okay, you can, they can share the screen and send chat messages, right? So that's it. And for this is for the chat, uh, chat box, this one. So earlier I uh, open, uh, uh, I open whiteboard, right? I open a jam whiteboard. So once you share it, right, it will appear here, and everyone can click this one and they can see your whiteboard, all right? So that's it, and that's it. If you if you uncheck this one, of course they cannot send messages. Okay, and that's it. What more? Okay, whiteboard. Okay, uh, host control. Yeah. So these are the features, the, the, the functions of the buttons that you can see here on the Google Meet uh, interface. All right. So thank you and uh, have a great day.